So I haven't made a video about day trading setup in a while because I haven't changed anything in a while, but I finally did. So it's time that we make a video about it. In this video, I'll be breaking down my complete setup and also what I like and don't like about this setup. So I'll be breaking down everything you need to know. So if you're looking to create your own day trading setup, this video is going to be super helpful. As usual, all the tools that I'm using to day trade will be linked in the description. So if you're looking for a broker, scanner, charts, or newsfeed, everything will be linked down in the description. I'll also link all the parts for this build. So if you're looking to build your own, everything will be linked down below so the first thing we're going to talk about is the computer monitors so over here in this setup i have three monitors and in my last setup i actually had four monitors i took out the top one because it was just too much real estate and it was actually distracting me so i was looking at too many things at once and i found that i started to trade very poorly with the top monitor on so right now with three i think it's perfect i can look at plenty of stock i have my main trading window in the front of me and also have my scanner on the left side and also my option chain if I'm looking to put on some option trade, which is more rare, or I'll just alternate the screen with something else. But mainly my main focus is always on the main monitor, which has all the information I need to actually take a decision if I'm going to trade a stock or not. So the monitor I have on this setup are the same as my last one. They're Isus Pro R 27 inch 1440p. What I don't like about these monitor is when I put them vertical, they're not wide enough because they're not 4K, they're pretty narrow and it's not wide enough to put like many charts or the charts are actually very small on it. But overall, the resolution and the quality is really good. So if you keep them horizontal, I have no issue with these monitor. But if you're looking to put them vertical, I would recommend to go 4K if you're going with 27 inches. So the second most important thing about my setup and it's completely new, it is my new chair. So I'm not using the old one that you see in the back. I bought a new one and it's an Ermin Miller Aeron remastered. I changed my old one because it wasn't comfortable. So I went out with the full upgrade and spent about two grand on this chair. It's a really expensive chair, but my back is pretty important. I've been going to the chiropractor so many times and trying to get massages to take off some cramps that I've been getting in my back. So now with this chair, it seems pretty well. I also upgraded my mattress, but this is not going to be in this video. So if you're in the market for a new chair and you don't know what to get and you do have a good budget, I really recommend this chair. It is super comfortable and you can get a used one for about six to 700 bucks. And if you're looking for a new one, it's about two grand to 2,500. So we're going to move on to the third thing that I upgraded and I upgraded the RAM on my PC. So I bought this PC last year and it's working super well. I have no issue with it, but I just felt that if I was running too many software on it, it was lagging a bit. So it came with 16 gig of RAM and I upgraded to 32 gigs of RAM and it's running super smooth at the moment and what's really good about this pc is the graphic card that comes in it has four outputs so you can put four monitors right off the bat you don't need to upgrade with a second graphic card or anything like that the only thing i would recommend is if you're looking for four monitors and a bunch of software running at the same time i would just upgrade the ram which is pretty cheap and most of people do it anyway because 32 gigs of RAM is getting almost standard for day trader or anybody that's doing a lot of stuff on their computer. So overall the PC, I have nothing that I don't like about. I really enjoy it and so far everything is running well. So moving on to my fourth upgrade and this one is the tabletop. So I changed the top of my desk and the reason why is the other one wasn't deep enough. So I was too close to my screen and it was really annoying. So I decided to go with something deeper but the issue I have with this top is the quality is super bad. The other one was full wood and this one felt just super cheap and it's also very shaky. It's still on my dual motor power leg, so it's a standing desk. And this is where you see the difference in the flex. So whenever I'm putting it up, everything is moving on my desk, so I can't really, so I have to keep it down. And that's kind of disappointing. So I'm going to look for a new tabletop. I don't know what to get yet because I haven't found anything that's deep enough to really run the three monitors with the camera behind it. So overall, I'm disappointed in this and I'll definitely change it. So moving on to the fifth thing I changed is the mouse and the keyboard. So I went with a mechanical keyboard in my last setup. It was just so loud and it feels like you're always mad when you're typing. So I'm just putting out some little happy tweets and it feels like I'm super mad. So overall, I changed it and I feel like my mood got just a little better. That's a joke. And overall, the mouse also is more comfortable and there's no wire with these ones. These ones are just wireless and it looks better. Of course, if you're using a lot of hotkeys and you go really hard on this keyboard, it's going to break. I already broke one, but it was still under warranty, so I exchanged it. 
I'm a little more careful on this one. If you're super aggressive with your hotkey, go with the mechanical. But if you're a little smoother with your keyboard and more careful with your stuff, this keyboard could be good. And also it's really comfortable and it types pretty well. So when it comes to mounting everything together, everything is on the standard stand. I haven't upgraded any stand. Everything is just put on the vertical stand of the original monitor. And also the only upgrade I have is just the mount under the desk for the PC. But other than that, everything comes as it is. So this setup is definitely expensive. We are now looking at the computer, it's about two grand. The chair is about 2000. Each monitor is about 1500. You got about 200 for the keyboard and the mouse. Other than that, you have cable connectors, but that's not counting the camera stuff, which is way too expensive for the quality that it produced. So hopefully you guys can like and subscribe so I get more views and make a bit more money with these videos. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any question about this setup and I hope it inspired you to build your trading setup. So let me know what you think about this video. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it.